Hello, here we go, another top tip, delivering all the knowledge bombs with this series. So this one is a really good one and it's probably one that you haven't normally thought about at all, okay? And that is reducing the speed at what you eat, okay? So start. some studies are showing us that if we are not mindful about how quickly we eat or how slowly we eat or how full we are versus satisfied, we could easily consume over 300 calories a meal over what we think we are, okay? So if you think about it, there is a connection between your stomach and between your mind. Now, if you eat too fast, you will find that your stomach will get filled up, but your brain doesn't re realise that until it's too late. Now, if you think back to maybe a time where you've had a big meal and you've, you're so uncomfortable that you can't move or, you know, you're just like, oh my God, how did that happen? Because you've eaten too quickly and your brain hasn't had time to catch up with the fullness of the tummy. Okay, so next time you're having a big meal, slow it down. Try slowing it down and try and tune in to your satisfied signals rather than your stuffed signals, okay? So give that a try. Um, we do find that this really decreases the amount that people eat over the longer term. And I will give you a word of warning that this is not easy. And if you look to your kids or if you've got kids around about you, you will notice that they don't always eat eat till they're full and they'll often leave food in their plate because they're just not hungry anymore so what I would urge you to do is to not force your kids to eat more because they will they are very tuned in to their um, satisfied feelings rather than wait until they're stuffed and it's learned behavior that us as adults have picked up over the course of our life so slow it down and start recognizing satisfied signals okay give it a try and let me know how you get on with this one it's quite hard